What's up, guys? I am back doing, you know, another tool haul. So, I want to uh, say thank you guys again for tuning in, always to watching me spend stupid amounts of money. Almost feels like every two weeks. But, um, picked up some things uh, that I need to pick up that I've been needing lately. Um, I also, I didn't get a chance to see my snap-on guy. He did drop me off some things that I ordered, as you can see. But... Again, uh, I'm not going to really do a separate video for this one. This is just their tech extra. So this is just like, for example, some of their battery power tools, welders and stuff like that. Again, uh, for these prices, honestly, for me, uh, I work mostly for agriculture. So these things, I, I just don't believe in spending that amount of money on the Snap-on. I mean, if you're already into the 18 uh, lineup... That's, uh, you know, to each their own, but for me, that's a little bit overkill. You for almost for that price, you can get a lot of good Milwaukee, DeWalt, Richard, you know, Bosch, Makita, you know, whatever you want. You can get some really cool deals, but, you know, th these are just not for me. Just thought I'd get, go over pretty quick with these. Uh, the die grinder, i seen it on this truck, and he is going to get a green one in soon. And I'm going to take a look at it, but he's going to get a straight one. So I might think about picking that one up because it is a little bit more slender than the uh, Milwaukee. So that's something I might be looking into. Uh, the long long neck ratchets, the 3 eighths. I might be looking to pick one of those up as well. we go over here. Uh, I have the right angle drill. I have it in there. It's a good drill. I've only used it a handful of times here at the house, but other than that... It, it does what it does. it's supposed to do for those light stuff here at home. Uh, I haven't really taken it out to the field to test it, but we'll see. Um, 3 8 um, chuck, brushless drill. Meh, who knows? That's uh, a little bit pricey for the kit. That's just in my opinion. Uh, we'll go over here down here to the hex. I really do want one of these hex driver bits, these quarter bit drivers, just because it'll uh, be really convenient for... Uh, dash work, uh, interior work, stuff like that. And again, guys, I apologize if you guys hear me with the sniffles. I'm just coming down off of a cold. It's not the other thing. I haven't lost my sense of taste or anything like that. So uh, I'm at the worst. The, at the, the worst part is over. So yeah, I'm just trying to heal up. And so took advantage today to show you guys a little bit of the tool haul. Again, through this flyer. I'm going to try and speed up through it. Uh... Welding tables, welders, some other stuff, paint guns, polisher, air tools. You know, you guys probably have seen this on, on the tube, uh, so I probably won't spend too much time on these. So it's just some of the things. Again, I do want to try and get these lights, these this light is freaking sweet. So I will be looking forward to picking that up. Probably another pocket light or um, puck, hockey puck light. Uh, I do want one of these wireless battery system testers. I, these would come in handy, especially dealing a lot with uh, the trucks, dealing a lot with uh, pumps and everything, because sometimes we just don't know if these just need a little juice and it's a pain in the butt to try and get the uh, switch out the batteries or try and jump them for long. Um, so yeah, and then uh, code reader and everything that I picked up. Also, race jack. I'm just gonna get a Daytona carry with me in the pickup. Anti-fatigue mats, you know, creepers. I probably will spend the money on a good creeper. That is one one thing they do make it really good creepers. So more organization stuff. But anyways, moving on. Let's get to why we're here. So this you guys seen in my other video, but really what I ended up getting is silly. But I know some of you might be able to relate, but it's actually the clip. The clip that goes on these flush cuts. So the reason why I ended up getting the clip, and I ended up getting it for free, because when he sold me these, uh, he didn't have the clip. So uh, again, guys, I apologize for the sniffles. But I wanted it because having guys that come and work with me, sometimes I ask them to go grab the, the flush cuts or 
uh, go grab the dice or something like that. And if they, if I tell them not the ones with the black cover, at least my guys will know not to grab these. These are not for cutting metal or anything like that. This is for more delicate stuff like um, zip ties, rope, stuff like that, that really you don't want to try and use on metal. So this is really why I really wanted it is just so I can identify. And so people with me can identify that these are made for plastic and soft materials. So <laughs> there's one. Ended up picking another uh, air truck or tire pressure gauge. This is the big one for like semis and stuff. So I ended up picking one of these up. My other one broke. So I ended up picking up another one. This is from Napa. Um, ended up having one of my mechanics build me a two-way valve system for the air tanks and the uh, trucks. Because as you, some of you guys know, when some of those trucks break down, sometimes you don't have a way of turning on the truck. You just want to move it out of the way or something like that. And so they decide, I decide, <laughs> I asked them to build me another two-way valve so that way I can get this hooked up to the air tank on the truck, fill it up with air, release the air brakes, and move it out of the way. I've had it happen at least three times this week where I've needed to move a truck out of the way to let buy other ones. And having this would have came in handy. So, uh, yeah, just having build me one of these uh, two-way valve systems. And it's just like, you know, a female and a male end uh, and a, uh, just with a closing cylinder in it. So that will come in handy whenever I have to uh, remove trucks and everything. Sorry about that, guys. I had to blow my nose. And uh, I know you guys don't want to hear none of that. Uh, but moving on, bought for the die grinder. Uh, the, what's it called? The quarter inch shank so I can put on for the three inch cutting wheels. Um, because again, I am planning on buying one of the straight die grinders, either the Snap-on or the Milwaukee. And so I just wanted to have it just in case for when I do grab it. Um, pick that up again at Napa. There's the part number. These are pricey little things, like 15 bucks. When I bought the one for the pads and everything, <laughs> this wasn't, they were, I think $10, $15. So they get pretty pricey. Again, guys, this is just, um, I just, I just brought this in just to show you guys, but you guys saw this in my other tool video. I ended up purchasing this pouch, um, but I purchased this pouch on eBay because, again, I was waiting for my guy to get me my pouch, which has finally came in, and if you guys didn't know, you guys can actually order these off the Snap-on truck if you guys have the pick sets and you want something to carry them into. That's a little bit more convenient, a little bit more uh, space efficient. This is how they are. And again, um, I knew that this was coming in. I just couldn't wait. So I do have it now. So now I have to buy another pick set to try and fill that set up. But it, I have it in, just in case. So uh, it's nice. But again, guys, you have for all your picks and everything. I'm a little bit OCD about this. There we go. But yeah, these, these pouches are nice. Again, convenient space savers. Highly recommend these if you guys have the miniature screwdrivers, Torx, and everything. Highly recommend it. And then, pick this off of eBay. Again, guys, you can find these on eBay. Um, rare, rarely you'll find them on like Macari, stuff like that, but for like 20, 25 bucks. I, I don't pay anything over 25 bucks for these. And these are just, you peel off and it's got the adhesive on there so you can snap them onto your box that's right for example i don't want it to be a home egg. i just want it to be a snap on and it's just one of those things i know a lot of people might be like ah oh, you know but, you know it's just one of those little things that you know i like snap on snap on's a good brand um so having some things that people <laughs> that really don't know much about it they'd be like oh where'd you get that box like if you guys seen my um uh, my tool battery box that i have on my pickup that one i put a snap-on sticker it's a buyer's box but i took off the buyer's sticker and put on one of these and everyone thinks that it's a snap-on box and asking me for part numbers so it's pretty funny when i tell them the story uh we'll go to this one uh stopped off came in my uh fly rack magnetic and again you could buy these from i believe what is it harbor freight i don't know if i've seen them at home depot but you can you can basically you guys, I'm trying to open this one. Oh, man. Oh, son of a gun. We'll be back. I'll tell you what, that's some hard plastic. But 
Oh, if you guys want to know, right now these are on sale from the NEPA quarterly month. So there's your part number, MPH10. So in case you guys want to pick one of these up, again, these are magnetic um, plier holders. So we'll get some plier holders. And I, again, I bought some regular ones, but I wanted to grab some that are magnetic. And we'll fill these up with some pliers just to show you guys how they'll, they look. We got those. I'll bring in long dikes. And just for giggles, I'll bring in the P PWZs. Yeah, so pretty awesome having something magnetic. Uh, it'll come in handy to keep these in place again. With farming, the box that I ordered doesn't have really an area for pliers, so I'm gonna order maybe another set of these just to have all my pliers in line. But these will go into a specialty box, probably these two, because I did order a DZ uh, truck trick box it's a, like a five drawer side box it's really convenient uh i read some of, i've seen them on some of the people who have them here but i've never asked them how they are with weather so that's something that i will be looking into as uh time goes on how it handles weather so let's get rid of these real quick all right and this one will just go here for now. All right, moving on. Uh, finally came in my feeler gauges from like, I think November, December, somewhere around there. I don't know. They've been on back order forever. Everyone's been trying to get a hold of these. And so I don't blame them. You know, these, <laughs> these are awesome. I got a project coming up that I'm gonna do uh, for my dad. Uh, who knows how long it'll take but it's a restoration of the chevy s10 from back in the day when his first truck he actually purchased so um kind of working on that uh who knows maybe rebuild the engine the engine's still good i think it only had like a hundred thousand miles on it so it just got stored away and never used again so who knows but for the price of these i had to pick these up uh, i do love the the hard handles on here and the fact that you can switch out uh, your feeler gauges for whatever you need and so that's really awesome and so that again in green i was thinking about it like when am i going to use feeler gauges i really don't work on automotive as much or work on engines but for the price i can always resell or or whatever but i thought it was pretty awesome so moving on all right ended up stopping at my local hardware store for 22 bucks and 99 cents this is basically almost the imitation of the carlisle ratchet uh they're probably made in the same plant but they are, are the exact same thing um i only picked these up there because my local napa didn't have them and i needed them at the time so when i went to the hardware store i ended up always looking at the tool section and they carry channel locks so i ended up finding the one in 116 which i needed if uh depends on when i upload but I had a video I recorded where I was working on one of the Scoopies and I actually had to grind down the head of one of the uh, rent, one of my wrenches. And so because it was it was the Husky ones and they are so much fatter, it it just wouldn't fit in there. So I had to grind it down almost to the um, to the opening of the wrench. So you guys will see that video. Who knows when? Uh, so I end up, but again I had to pick this up because I messed up that wrench and I wanted something that'll match my uh, car locks. And I believe now I have a complete set. And the only difference is with these and the car locks, these have for the SAE, uh, and they just say channel lock on here, as the other ones just say car lock. And they don't have this red strip for SAE. But again, also bought the one and a quarter because again, <laughs> just want to fill it out. And those Husky wrenches are just so big. They're just so big, so. Wanted to pick this up, and this one ended up running me $27.29, which is, I think, the same price as the Napa one. Uh, either way, I needed them in the pinch, and so I ended up picking them up. And then, finally, we'll finish off with the car scanner. And, again, I've had to use this for a little bit. 
I normally use it every morning or every night when I get home I to clear the code off of my truck so I can actually use the remote start. Um, but yeah, it's been a handy little tool. Do like it. Uh, it does what I need it to do. Some, some of our trucks that are on the farm are a little bit more older and sometimes they'll just shut off and it's nice to have one of these in hand instead of waiting for one of our field mechanics to come by and tell us what's wrong with it so we can always just scan it and um, figure out what's wrong with it. So yeah guys and then I picked this up for about uh, 90 bucks so not bad. Does what I get again does what I need it to do. It brings codes and everything just in, in case of an emergency. And <laughs> it's been rolling around on the, the front passenger side of my floor. So, yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little, nice little tool haul. Again, <laughs> I don't know when I'll be posting these. Uh, I will be doing a 250 subscriber giveaway for the Milwaukee wrenches that are similar pattern to these. Uh, I will be giving out a metric set of those, non-ratcheting, uh, to one person once I hit 250 subscribers. And then I'll give, be doing another giveaway once I reach 500 subscribers that involves enough said. But yeah, guys, uh, hope, hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.